Hello Gnana students, welcome to the social science class about the union government of our India. In this chapter children, you are going to study the learning points are information about union legislature and union executive. We have learnt in the previous lesson that India is a sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic, republic. That means there is a union government at the center and state governments in the states. India is a union of states. The powers of the nation are divided between the center and the states. It exercises these powers through the legislature, executive and judiciary. Now let us view the union legislature. India has adopted the parliamentary system of government and the union legislature is called the parliament. Article 79 provides for the creation of parliament. The parliament consists of two houses. The upper house is called Rajya Sabha and the lower house is called Loka Sabha. Now let us view about Rajya Sabha. The number of seats in the Rajya Sabha is 250 of which 238 members are elected by the members of the state assemblies and union territories. The remaining 12 members who are experts from various fields like literature, art, science and social work are nominated by the president. This house is also known as the House of Elders. The term of the Rajya Sabha members is 6 years. Now let us observe the qualification required to become a member of Rajya Sabha. First one is should be a citizen of India. Second one is should not less than 30 years of age. Third one is should not have been punished under law. The vice president is the chairman of the Rajya Sabha. The deputy chairman is chosen from among the members. The house should meet at least twice in a year. Now let us view about Loka Sabha. The members of the Loka Sabha are elected directly by the people. So it is known as the House of People. The maximum number of seats is 545. 543 members are directly elected by the people. Whereas two Anglo Indians are nominated by the president. 79 seats are reserved for scheduled caste and 41 seats are reserved for scheduled tribes. The Loka Sabha members are elected for a term of 5 years. Now let us view the qualifications of the members. The qualification is first one should be a citizen of India and second one is must not be less than 25 years of age. Third one is should not have been punished under the law. Now let us view the Loka Sabha speaker. The members elect from among themselves a speaker and a deputy speaker. The speaker has to impartially conduct the proceedings of the house. He should maintain the dignity and decorum of the house. The speaker gives his ruling whenever there are questions about validity of the proceedings. The deputy speaker conducts the proceedings in the absence of the speaker. Now let us observe the role and work of opposition leader. Highlight the wrongdoings of the ruling government. Examine the policies of the government thoroughly. Keep the government, council of ministers and officials alert as a respectable position in the legislature. Now let us view the powers and functions of the parliament. First one is legislative powers. The main function of the parliament is to make laws. It can frame laws on subjects mentioned in the central list. The financial bill is presented only in the Loka Sabha, but the bills become laws only after proper discussion and approval by both the houses. Now let us view the administrative powers. In a parliamentary system of government, the Prime Minister and his Council of Ministers form the executive. Parliament has control over the executive. Now let us view the financial powers. Loka Sabha exercises total control over the financial matters of the country. The finance bill must be first introduced in the Loka Sabha. Later, the bill goes to the Rajya Sabha for discussion. For that purpose, it will take 
14 days later it is then sent to the president for his approval now let us view the judicial powers both the houses of the parliament have the authority to remove the judges of the supreme court and the high court through a motion of impeachment now let us view the power to amend constitution both the houses of parliament have equal powers to amend the constitution now let us view the union executive the executive implements the laws framed by the union legislature it also implements the programs and policies of the union government the union executive consists of the president prime minister and his council of ministers the president is the head of the executive only in name whereas the prime minister and his council of ministers form the actual executive now let us learn information about president article 52 of our constitution has created the post of the president the indian president is the constitutional head of the country he is the first citizen the head of the executive and also the commander in chief of all the three armed forces they are army navy and air force he enjoys the highest position in the country as he is the custodian of all executive powers of the nation no court of law can question his conduct or prosecute him now let us observe how the election of the president will takes place article 54 and 55 of the constitution stipulate the way the president should be elected the president is elected by an electoral college of elected members of both houses of parliament all elected members of the legislative assemblies of all the states now let us observe his qualification he should be a citizen of india he should have completed the age of 35 years and he should be qualified for election as a member of the lok sabha now let us view the powers of the president first one is the executive powers all administration is carried out in the name of the president the president has the powers to appoint persons to high post second one is the legislative powers the president has the power to summon the parliament or postpone its sessions a bill passed by both the houses becomes an act only after it receives the approval of the president he may also nominate two anglo indians to the lok sabha and 12 members to the rajya sabha third one is the judicial powers the president has the power to reduce the term of imprisonment of criminals and to cancel the capital punishment fourth one is the financial powers a finance bill cannot be introduced in the lok sabha without the permission of the president next one is the military powers the president is the commander in chief of the armed forces he also declares war and peace on the recommendation of the parliament now let us view the emergency powers of president the president has the powers to declare emergency in an unnatural situation based on the written recommendations of the union cabinet the president can declare the emergency on three occasions they are first one is the national emergency second one is the state emergency and third one is the financial emergency now let us learn about the information of prime minister the constitution has provided for a council of ministers with the prime minister as its head to assist and advise the president in the administration of the country still it is the prime minister who has the real power to carry out the administration the president is the head of the country whereas the prime minister is the head of the government now let us observe the powers of the prime minister appointment and removal of ministers and allocation of portfolios the prime minister recommends to the president the appointment of ministers to the council of minister next is head of government the prime minister is responsible for all actions of the government next is head of union cabinet the meetings of the union cabinet are held under the chairmanship of the prime minister all discussions of issues 
of national and international importance are discussed and decisions are taken under his chairmanship he is the link between the president and the cabinet thank you for watching the video if you really liked our video click on the like button share and do subscribe from nana jyoti team alone we can do so little together we can do so much for further information kindly visit our website that is www.nanajyoti